What's up? It's here. I got it. The 151 Premium Collection. Ultra Premium Collection. It arrived a day early on my doorstop for to see a GameStop, which is crazy considering I live in Hawaii. I told myself that I would open it in the morning because I just got off work at 10 p.m., but I'm going to be honest, I couldn't sleep. So I'm going to open this bad boy up. Let's we'll see what's inside. All right, here is the box. It doesn't even fully fit on the camera. Inside, you have all this cool stuff, which you probably already know, the promo cards, the 16 booster packs, and all that, blah, blah, blah. Because let's be honest, you've already seen 10 other YouTube videos on opening this box. I got it a day early, and I still am behind. So let's just cut right into it. This is the $120 Ultra Premium 151. And this just slides right out. Now, the quality of the box is not anywhere close to what the Charizard set was. I mean, you'll hear everyone say that. Um, looks like my Metal card is already sliding out, but they do have a clean display, let's be honest. Those are the promo cards, that's the fucking bread and butter right there. Mew promo. The Mewtwo promo that looks like Batman. And of course the metal card. Now before you ask, Hey, RBO, does the metal card fit in a penny sleeve? Let's find out. Let's just, okay. First of all, the promo slide out the top. Actually, this whole thing looks like it might slide out. But the whole thing slides out. Except for the metal card is, you gotta tear it out. And it looks like show you the promo cards real quick. What is the I don't know if that's issue or not and I'm just gonna fuck up my focus because there's a dark spot up there a dark spot down there mm -hmm. I mean the printing on it is not perfect here but here's what what everyone wants to know right does it fit in a penny sleeve card fits in a penny sleeve and I know what you're thinking it's a very special card RBO you need to double wrap it but before I use two penny sleeves on this metal card just let me say I didn't ask for your two cents okay I hear the other two promos pick me I'm a I'm a sucker for you I just am let's be honest I like Mew over Mew too. The whole Dark Knight thing that that's going on with this card is sick though. Those are the promos. What else is in the box? Okay, so here we have common coins, the little coin, the plastic pink dice that aren't metal like the Charizard set, and then I think this is just an empty deck box. 
chill. Sounds like there might be something in the deck box. I'm gonna... Alright, what do I do? I lost my knife. Looks like it's just a divider in the deck box. Um, a little Velcro. Thing to keep it closed is pretty nice. Pink dice, plastic dice, damage, whatever. Here's what I'm excited about, although I've heard mixed things about the quality. We have six team. These packs are so hard to get a hold of right now. We'll roll up the map for you. For you to see the tenth time. Giant. Giant Mew. Slap it. Yeah. Pretty curled up. I can't, I honestly, I don't know if the quality, a lot of people have said the quality is not that good. It seems actually pretty decent to me. Curling on the side, it's going to take some time to quiet now, I think. But overall, I actually like this map. Real reason I'm here and bought this box. 16 boosters. There's so many good cards in this set. They're so hard to just buy in the store. Unless you got a good connection, which I don't. Okay, let's jump right into it. 16 packs. If it seems like I'm whispering, um, I guess I sorta am. Midnight here in Hawaii, basically my wife is sleeping upstairs. And I don't want to wake her opening up Pokemon Guard. She's got to work tomorrow. That would just be silly. Not good for anyone. Bulbasaur. Genie. Larry on. There's so many good cards in this. Mr. Mime, Basic Energy Hollow. I don't know if I have that on the app. I have half of them. I pre-ordered this back on literally July 4th. Um, I hadn't bought anything from GameStop in a long time. And now that I'm back in Pokemon, I'll be going there at least a couple times a week. To be honest, this is an expensive hobby. It's a do expensive hobby. Film. Um, it is cool though, it's got a cool community. Artwork, cool. Here at Nido King. No hits. Four packs and no hits whatsoever. Another mine. Am I getting trolled right now with the worst ultra premium collection on the internet? Maybe I should have just waited till morning.
I mean, I'm almost halfway through. I haven't gotten a single decent card. The Aerodactyl, though, that this Aerodactyl art is a hundred percent underrated. That is cool. It does not, I'll take it as a hit. I don't have it, I don't think I have Vaporeon yet either. And the Fire Energy Hollow. This might be the worst ultra premium collection opening on YouTube. <laughs> what are these hats? Don't disappoint me like this. Yeah, now I have to whisper. My wife's sleeping. I'm not a yelling kind of person to begin with. I can't be all eccentric and f have all that fake energy. Like, you see a lot of other YouTubers, honestly. From Gyarados. I'll, I don't have the Gyarados. I'll take it. But a lot of mediocre hit. Halfway through. Not a single yet. Not a single... Illustration rare. Nothing tells EX, okay. We actually got a hit. A hit I don't have. And Nine Tails is actually. Um, like nine tail, I say nine tails, Gengar, um, Mew, probably. Look at that, it's just sparkle. Probably my, um, at least top, a couple of my, a few of my top five favorite Pokemon, Gengar. Love the guy. Nine Tails is just cool. I don't know. I think um, I really liked Bullpix as a kid, and I think because uh, of the original anime and Brock. All that. <laughs> we got a hit. We got the Moncho. Let's go. If I seem speechless, it's because I'm all man choked up. That is a sick card. We have two, two hits, two packs to go. Insert, Gold Bat, Porygon, Drowsy, Moltres, Electric, Energy. The pull rate for the Hollow Energies is, I think, one in four packs, so we should still get one more. At least all four of them that I got are different.
bills transfer. Okay. To be honest, it's some of the trainers are I know are always worth a decent amount of money. I just always find it hard to get excited about trainer cards. Even though I know like Erica's imitation and all that are worth a lot, whatever. It's just like cool, it's a trainer card. We don't. I don't like Pokemon for the, the humans that are in it. All of the actual Pokemon. Charmander, Growlithe, Three Dots. Two packs left. This is, um, I have literally been waiting for this since July, and this is the most underwhelming bowls. But the promos are cool. We got the Nine Tails and the Mancho. So, I mean, what do you expect? We're literally gambling here. E-Trail. E-Trail is another one of my favorites. That's it, though. That's all 16 packs. If you stayed through the whole video, thank you for watching. I know I'm kind of new at this. I do have a lot more general content just coming. A lot of Pokemon cards I just ordered from Poke and E and Walmart and GameStop, occasionally Amazon. If you do me a favor and hit sub, help me get to 500, that'd be awesome. I will be posting a lot more content in the future. And seriously, thanks for watching. All right, take care now.